Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WS Cube Tag and in this video we are going to write a Python program about like you need to just accept a list from the user and you need to just mention that uh, you need to just tell the user that which particular number is the maximum number then the second one is the smallest number and one more thing we are just going to do over here is that you even need to display what is the second most largest number over here. So if uh, if you have not understood this thing, so just uh, come up over here. You can just uh, see this statement over here. So you need to just accept a list from the user and you need to find this largest minimum and the second largest uh, number uh, over here inside your list over here. And you need to just display that thing to the user over here. So uh, it's a simple logic over here. We need to just go step by step over here. So the first thing over here is that we are just going to accept a list from the user. Okay, this is our first step over here. And if you are just watching this uh, uh, my, uh, my uh, Python videos, okay, the Python program videos which I am just making over here. So in our last videos, we have already seen like how we can just accept a list from the user. And uh, doesn't matter that if you have not watched those videos, I am just going to expl explain that things once again uh, in this video over here. So the first thing over here is that I need to just accept a list from the user, alright. Now in order to just accept a list, what you need to do over here is that uh, I will just say that uh, input, okay, and I will just say that enter the total number of elements that a particular user wants inside the list, all right. So, what I will simply do that enter the total number of elements that you want inside your list, all right, list, that's it. So this would be your message over here, okay? And what I will simply do is I will just store this inside a variable. So let's say this is my n over here, and I will just do a type conversion over here. So this is my int over here, okay? Because by default Python just understand that this particular statement is a string over here, but uh, it's not a string; it's a number over here. So I need to just mention this thing that this particular thing is a number, okay? So I've done the type conversion over here, or you can just call this as it is type casting over here. All right. So once I have this n with me, now what I just want to do over here is that I will just uh, create an empty list over here. So say this l is my list, okay? And we know that in order to just create a list, okay, we make use of the square brackets over here. All right. Now the second step over here is that what you need to do is for as many as number of times a user says that suppose that user wants five uh, total elements inside the list, so I need to accept that five elements, okay, one by one. So for that, what I'm just going to use, I'm just going to make use of this range, okay? So I'm just going to say that for any variable over here, so say for i in range, okay? And I will give the range over here till the user input, okay? So if the user says that I just want five elements inside my list over here, so this particular for loop will work till five, okay, all right? So I've taken this thing over here. Now, in, at each uh, this step, what I want, I want to accept the uh, input from the user, okay? Uh, so what I will simply do is I will just say that input and I will just say enter the element. All right. So user will enter the element over here. And what I will just do this, I will just store this inside a variable name. So this is my uh, element over here. All right. And what I will do, I will again do a type conversion over here. So let my Python know that this particular input which I am just taking from the user is not of string, it's of int. That's it. So this will just work. Uh, uh, every time it will just take the input and what I want to do that as it takes the input from the user I just want to append that thing ins inside my that empty list over here okay and how I'm just going to do over here is that I'm just going to say that l dot append and what I want to append this particular element that I'm taking from the user itself okay so at each iteration when uh, suppose the user says three over here so it will just ask enter the element so if I just say one so what it will do, it will just say, uh, it will just append this, uh, uh, one will get inside this list. In the next time, it will just ask, enter the element, I will just say 2. Then 2 will be uh, added inside my element along with 1, okay. So append this method is with respect to the list and this append method, what it does, it is simply just appends or adds the elements to the last of your list, alright. And similarly, it will go for the th third element and it will just append that uh, third element inside my uh, list over here. So at the end what I will have I will have this list. Okay. So what I will simply do over here is that I will just say print and uh, I will just say my my list. Okay. And I will just say this L. Alright. 
so this will be my list at the end over here okay so we'll just run this thing so we'll just check it out that whether this uh, half of the code is working fine or not so i'm just going to run this thing so it says that enter the total number of elements that you want inside your list so say i just want three elements okay as for now so it says that enter the element now this enter the element will work for three times based upon my this number that this n okay user input so i will just say let it be my 10 okay then i will just say 20 then i will just say 30 okay and at the end as i said you guys that i will just get this list okay so i got this list from the user so this is the way by which you can just accept a list from the user all right so i got this 10 20 30 all right now uh, our goal is what our goal is to find the largest number among this largest minimum and the second largest so you know that when when we are talking about the list over here so talking about the indexing okay so it, this is the ordered list okay list con uh, comes under the ordered list so when i just talk about like when a list is an ordered list so this uh, elements will have some order so this uh, first element is stored at zero index then this is stored at one and this is stored at two and talking about the negative indexing over here okay we start from the last element and this last element this 30 is at minus 1 this is at minus 2 and this is at minus 3 all right now in order to just find this largest number over here so what i can simply do over here is that i need to first just, uh, sort my elements over here okay because see what i have hap happened over here i have given this input as 10 20 30 over here but it might happen that a user is giving the enter the uh, first element as 30 then 20 or something so it won't be in this particular order okay so i need to just uh, uh, sort my list over here now in order to do that thing we have a method over here and that is uh, uh, this l dot sort over here okay so this will just uh, sort these uh, elements inside my list over here so what i will just give it a variable name that it is my sorted list that's it okay and what I will simply do over here is that I will just print this thing, okay? Uh, so I will just print sorted list, okay? And I will just pass, give this variable name, okay? So this will just, uh, uh, it will just uh, put this my elements in the ascending over, over here. I'm just going to run this thing, okay? And I will just say 3. And now I'm not giving that 10, 20, 30. What I will do, I will just give 30, 20, and 10. All right, and now you can see that. So, did you observe over here that what has happened over here is that uh, this I did on purpose to show you guys that when I just print the sorted list over here, so what is happening over here? The sorted list method is returning you none. It's because this particular method, what it does is that it will just update your list. All right, update in the sense it will just sort the elements inside your list. So, instead of just printing the sorted list over here, I need to print my L over here because this sorted list what it will do it will just update or sort the elements inside your this particular list all right so instead of this what i need to pass over here is that i need to pass my list over here okay and if i just run this thing over here so you can just see that if i just give the same input over here three and i will just give this elements as 30 20 and 10 over here so you can see that this was my list uh, earlier okay that 30 20 10 and when I just applied this matter, uh, this uh, particular method that is sort over here, so what it has done, it has just updated my this uh, uh, original list, and this original list is present in L, okay? And that is the reason uh, why I just did it on purpose because if I had uh, just jumped over this step directly over here, so you would have not understood over here. The, so you would have asked that why I'm creating this variable and all. So there is no need to create this variable actually because if you just perform this L dot sort over here. So it will just simply update the elements that is it will just put this elements inside the ascending order to your original list and that it has done over here all right so i hope that now it is clear that why uh, how this uh, sort method works with respect to the list over here that's it so now once i have this uh, list with me okay the elements are sorted okay it has been arranged in the ascending order that is 10 20 30 now i can easily just uh, with the help of this index i can just fetch the elements which is the largest and smallest and the second largest so in this case if i just say that if the list uh, if i just pass l and inside the square bracket if i just pass zero so it will give me this 10 okay if i want to fetch this last element i can just uh, 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 grab it with the help of this negative index that is the minus one over here okay so this will be my minus two if I want to grab this one, which is the second largest, I can just grab it with the negative index as well. That is minus two over here. So that thing, I'm just going to apply the logic over here. So what I will simply do over here is that I will just say that L of 
zero over here. Okay, so I will just put this inside a, or I will just put this inside a variable so that it becomes easy. So this will be my minimum. All right, minimum. And what I will simply do is I will just say print minimum element. Okay, and I will just pass this thing. Okay, so this is my minimum. Okay, the next thing over here, the maximum. Okay, so maximum will be what? The neg negative index over there. So that will be my minus one. All right. I will just put this uh, print statement. Let me just copy this thing over here. Okay. And what I will simply do is, I will just say, this, okay, this will be my maximum. And we need to find the second largest element too. Okay. So I will just say, second largest. Okay. And what I will do? It would be my minus two. If, uh, talking about the negative indexing. Okay. If I just take that thing. Okay. So I am just going to say print. Second largest element, and I will just say second largest. Okay, and what I will simply do is, and now I'm just going to run this thing. Okay, and if I just say that uh, this time I will take four elements inside my list and say that I will just give a random number over here. Okay, and let it be 40. Okay, so you can just observe that. Uh, I will just scroll this up. Okay. So you can see this 22, okay, 22, 11, 1, and 44. So this is my original list, all right. I have sorted that thing, okay. So 1 comes first, then 11, then 22, then 44, right. Then what is the minimum element? Minimum element is 1. What is the maximum element? Maximum element is 44. And what is the second largest element? So it is none other than it is 22 over here, all right. So this is how you write the logic for this. So it's quite simple. Just we need to go step by step over here, all right. So, I will just come up over here and we'll just do a quick uh, recap over here. So, the main thing over here is that uh, what you need to do is you just need to know that how you, you, need, uh, you need to just accept the list from the user. So, that code first I have written over here, okay. Uh, by making use of append, we are just appending, okay. Then I got this list over here. Then what I did is I need to sort the uh, my list, okay. So, it, it won't be like that it, uh, the user will always give it that. Uh, ascending order it may give it in a random order okay so depending upon that you need to first sort this thing so this l dot sort what method does it does is it will just update your original list over here and that it has done over here so your l has got updated over here we are printing that thing and with the help of this uh, this index value over here we are just fetching the minimum value so minimum value will be at the zero then talking about the maximum uh, it, if i just start with the uh, negative uh, index over here so it will be at the minus one and talking about the second largest it will be definitely at the minus two over here okay you can just grab the third largest as well by minus three and so on okay so this is how it works okay so i hope that you're clear with this concept okay so if you just like this video so do hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and see you in the next video